Hello and very warm welcome to Raflimps. This is Farooq Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can upgrade Koha old version to new version. But before that, let us understand how we can backup properly Koha database and also some alternate ways. Because if in case you fail to upgrade your old version to new version, and you lost all your data so you can freshly install the new version and you can restore your old database to the new version and once again if for example i mean this is just for example god forbid your database may fail to match the tables of new mysql database so you can use some alternate ways and you can import your data to new newly installed koha system so that's just alternate ways out so let us see how we can actually back up koha database here we have koha 21.05 on ubuntu and uh, it's 20.04 okay so first of all we need to open our terminal by pressing ctrl alt t and activate the admin mode by writing sudo su and the password of your ubuntu system and then you need to take backup i mean the dumb backup of koha system there you can see this command will take the dumb backup of Koha system and there you need to write the your database name that is actually whatever the instance you have for example I have library right now and I want to take backup as Koha underscore library similar thing so I can easily restore this and if you want to learn how we can actually restore i have a detailed video about to taking backup and to restore so but here actually we are going to discuss some alternate ways because most of the time i have seen we fail to upgrade to a new version because of mysql and we fail to restore or mysql in the newly installed koha because of some reason whatever they are we are not talking about them so here we have some alternate ways so let me copy this command and here paste and you will see that this when i enter this command it will create uh my sql file i mean sql file koha database file here in 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 in, in home folder see let me enter here and start creating now you need to provide the my sql password I have written mine and then it has created the dump backup it depend on the size of your uh, database so this is a small size here I have because we do not have so much data here so you can copy this you can keep this in a safe place and you can then restore this to newly install koha version if you for example fail to restore this then you need to use some alternate ways and now let us discuss what alternate ways you can try so here we have the koha system and you need to come home and then we will also upgrade this i'll i'll show you how we actually upgrade old version to new version but let us discuss the backup 
and the alternate ways to take backup of Koha in this video. Now tools and in tools, let me bigger this size so you can see easily. In tools, uh, the second column has export data. So you can export all your bibliographic data in MRC format or uh, what I said XML format. So MRC is MARC format so you can convert MRC into Excel to have that or you can have uh, an accession register report so you can convert that uh, Excel to MRC, MRK and MRC but here I am talking about the ready-made MRC that you can actually import in your newly installed Koha system. So now there you can see from from uh -oh, from biblio number to biblio number and all items you can select you can select some particular item like book and you can select some particular libraries or all the libraries call number range if you want to select some data from call number and accession uh, date for example from what date to what date you need uh, the data in uh, MRC format so you can have that and now see this is mark XML and CSV is written there but CSV is not working okay so you can name any to this file instead of koha you can say data export and date you can provide see now export bibliographic data and it will save your data because we do not have any data in this system so it says zero byte but in this way you can actually export your data and then you can restore that I mean, all these data as it is in your newly installed system to restore uh, bibliographic data we have three videos how actually you normalize the excel list how you can actually uh, import that list and uh, in, in your catalog and 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 furthermore so now this is for the bibliographic data and what about the patterns to have a patterns list we can create one report and also there's an easy way to check the patterns record here in patterns module there you can search by category or you can use the type as well and the library as well so for example i want data of students so i just select the category students and search and there i can export this list in excel format csv format and copy this and print this so for example let us copy as csv and that csv actually we can import in newly installed koha system through tools i'll show you from where you actually import the biblio records where you actually import the patterns record so let me complete this and then i'll show you okay 
this is the one way so we have actually import the patterns list in csv format and uh, another way out is to have a report for all patterns record report and there you can check this koha report library and you can find the uh, mysql uh, 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 syntax there so to create a report from mysql let me copy from here see this is for patterns full record so we just need to copy this and we can create similar you can copy from the koha uh, report library and then create from sql and for example this is patterns full record all patterns actually and there you can write the sql save this and now run this report and there you can download this it's quite easy in semicolon uh, separated text that is actually csv uh, tab separated text and the open document spare sheet so we will download in csv so csv is quite better and there you can save this see this is 15.5 kb and this one is 1.3 kb okay it's, it's uh, so you have the complete csv and that csv you can directly import into your newly installed koha system and now let us talk about the circulation from where we actually get the circulation report for that purpose we also have the reports so we can create a new report like the uh, new report and uh, new sql report or create from sql so so there we have all checkouts And you can paste the SQL here. All check out. And save this. And run this. Unfortunately, we do not have any circulation records, so we cannot. have this but let us assume <clears throat> to have some record see it will provide you the all checkout records in this form so you can have that list and you can perform circulation on your new system and now the next thing if for example you are not familiar with the MRC file and you need file in in like accession register so you can have the accession register as well okay copy this 
Okay, so the new report again, new from MySQL, MySQL actually, and the uh, extension register. This is just for example. And there is a complete library of Koha SQL reports. So you can find the ready-made SQL uh, uh, codes. So you can copy them and you can create reports. And now run report. And there you can have the accession register. For example, this library. So run the report. We do not have any catalog here. So in this way, you can find the complete information of your uh, library records. Okay, so we have discussed three ways. And now let us talk from where you actually uh, import them. We talk about the export and now let us talk about the import in tools. You will import the patterns record here. And we have discussed this in quite detail in one of the video. I will uh, uh, I will provide the link to that video in the description of this video and also on the I button so you can have that video. And there you can import stake mark record for import. So you can import that CSV. I mean, uh, what we said. MRC file here quite easily. It's ready made MRC and you can easily import here. And as far as uh, the circulation, so you need to perform circulation. And this here we have discussed some alternate ways to have backup. And we also talk about the uh, MySQL backup. So in the next video, we will continue with this to upgrade to our old version to new version. So let us try in the next video.